Are you involved in school volunteer or community activities? If so, which ones? No, I'm not. I am not. No. Yeah, I volunteer at my local library and stuff. I try and get involved. Actually, I'm pretty involved. I recently won a community service award. And yeah, I just do a lot of community service. Like, I like helping people out. I have little brothers and sisters, so I help out with them. In school, I do like a lot of clubs and stuff, and sometimes I help with the community, with, like schools. I am not involved in any other um, school or community activities. Looking back at it, because I just graduated, you know, like, you know, I mean, it would have been nice, you know, to take part of, you know, and do something. I really don't participate in any activity at my school. You know, I just go to school, do my thing, and I go home, I go to work and I don't really have time for any of that stuff. Basically keeping kids off the streets, like I would raise, like I used to play roller hockey, I would coach roller hockey, stuff like that, kind of keep the little kids away from the drugs and, and to, to gather like sportsmanship and everything. So what types of activities are you involved with? I'm involved in my youth group at my church. I started a Save Dar for Now group at my school and I like to do the spring musicals. What about you? Uh, I do a lot of stuff. I, um, I do the plays at my school and um, I'm, we have the championship flag football team at my school, me and my friends. I do Model UN academic team. Uh, I fence outside of school and stuff like that, youth group and everything. So a lot of stuff, you know. During our high school years, most of us tend to gravitate towards one or multiple activities that appeal to our interests. They range from sports and extracurricular clubs to youth organizations and community service. They give us a great sense of accomplishment and make us feel like we're working as part of a team towards a larger goal. Being involved means giving yourself a chance to make a difference. It also means giving up the excuses and the complaining to be a part of what is happening. Getting involved. That's what we'll be talking about today. Hi everyone, I'm Jack. And I'm Marissa. And, and this, this is, is Real Faith, Faith TV. TV. Our spotlight guest Stacy is involved in a number of school clubs as well as her parish youth group. We'll talk with her later in the show, as well as meet our studio guests. But first, let's go back to the teens on the street and see what leads them to get involved. Let's check it out. What made you decide to get involved? Um, what was the way to get to know people? Being with other people that are doing the same thing. Basically just helping out everyone, you know, making myself feel good by making everybody else feel good. Partly because I needed to graduate and partly because I just like the library. We put on shows. It was, you know, just fun, and everyone got to learn about, you know, our culture. Yeah, well, in terms of volunteer work, just, even though the works were extremely trivial and just, you know, it, it makes a difference. Winston Churchill once said, we make a living by what we get, but we make a life by what we give. While many of the teens on the street were involved in some kind of after-school job, most found tremendous fulfillment in volunteering their time and talents. Let's meet our studio guests now and find out what kind of activities they're involved with. They are Ian, Caitlin, Jessica, Vince, Nicole, and Ajama. So what kind of things are you guys involved with? Um, well me, I'm involved in uh, two different sports teams in my school and um, I also get involved a lot outside the school with a lot of community service uh, usually through my church but sometimes other various activities. Yeah I'm also involved with a lot of things in school like I'm on the um, newspaper staff, the, our literary magazine, I'm also on FBLA, I do like school plays and I'm also in like mission club. Yeah, I'm involved in a lot of school activities too. I do FBLA also. I'm in Key Club, which we, where we do a lot of community service. And I'm also on the golf team. And I'm in youth group too, and that's a lot of community service there too. Yeah, um, in my school there are about maybe 20 clubs. I'm in 17 of them. And I try to like do as much as I can and somehow I work a schedule together. Uh, art club, environmental club, chorus. Um, I play piano for school masses and I also help run retreats for the lower school kids. I'm really involved with a lot of stuff that goes on in my school and outside of school. Like, I play soccer and basketball, but then I play soccer outside of school as well. Like, at one point I was on three teams at once. I did, like, rec, school, and um, travel. And then I do, like, shows and stuff. Like, I do the school musical and the school plays. And then I do, like, shows over the summer, too, like community theater. At my school, I'm involved in the school newspaper, and we have... Um, a project called the Transition Project where we help out the freshmen as seniors. 
so I'm, I'm involved in that too. And uh, outside of school, I dance like three nights a week and I'm in my parish youth group and I also collect like soup labels for our national home. You guys are busy doing a lot of good things. It's estimated that roughly 72% of high school students participate in some kind of community service, but only 16% do it regularly. While 36% of youth say that some of the volunteer work was required of them, 44% say that none of the volunteer work they have completed was to fulfill a requirement. Next, Stacey talks about her involvement in various school clubs, community functions, and youth organizations. And how these activities give her a positive outlook and keep people her age out of trouble. I like being with a lot of other people and learning new things and helping others. So, uh, Yeah, I'm involved in a lot of things at school, like Interact Club, where we help um, like people that are homeless and uh, like soup kitchens. We go to on Thanksgiving, ocean where we help um, like the ocean environment and like the ecosystem, uh, key club where we help like uh, homeless people and people that don't have a lot of money in our school. I'm involved in youth group. I sing five o'clock mass and I do soup kitchens on Sundays. I'm in three youth groups. Um, one is at St. Barnabas, which is my head church, and uh, we do a lot of things like retreats and we do service of the suffering. Um, and the other youth group I'm in is a Baptist youth group and we do mostly like shows like skateboarding shows and uh, a lot of helping like like for uh, the Da Vinci Code we helped a lot with like showing people like what Christians believe in and then I belong to another Catholic youth group which is St. Joe's and we go to like dances and we help a lot with St. Barnabas. Um, I got involved in high school because I have a lot of friends that are already involved in the sports I do and like a lot of my teachers are the leaders of all those groups. Being active like keeps you out of trouble and when you're with active people that don't do other bad things and you're not like involved with bad things that are happening. I really like how she's involved in a lot of things, especially the youth groups. It sounds really good that she's involved with all of those youth groups. I was only involved in one in high school, but you know. <laughs> it's always good to get as involved as possible in like what you really believe strongly about. Stacy mentioned that her friends were a major reason she got involved in the many activities she listed. So how do you get involved in the organizations you're a part of? Well, normally for me, um, if ever there's a sign up for something, maybe volunteer work at my youth group, I'll always sign up for it. But then there's also, my family is close with the, um, the priest at our church, and he lets us know when there's volunteer organizations. Um, I'm also a Boy Scout, yes I am, um, <laughs> and we do a lot of volunteer work through that too, um, and then there's just through the school also that I do stuff like that. Yeah, I try to help out whenever a teacher or administrator needs it, like if there is something that the school needs someone to represent, if they pick me, you know, I'm happy to go, I'm happy and willing to go. Um, I'll go to conferences, I'll help run retreats, and in the clubs that I'm in, I try to take a leadership role. If I can't, I'll be a good follower, I'll be a good member, and you know, respect times and respect the authority of other members of the group. I got, go ahead. Okay, I got involved because I did stuff, you know, that I like to do. And plus, like, my friends are also involved. Like, I got involved with the community service club at my school because my friend got, like, over 80 hours of service or something. She's like, oh, yeah, why don't you come make sandwiches or something with me today? So that's how I really got involved, and I got to know the service teacher, and I found my place in the club, so it was cool. I know with me it was kind of like my freshman year, all these announcements about, like, club meetings would be happening and everything, and it was just kind of like, oh, that sounds good. I'm going to go join that. I'll go join that. You know, I ended up in, like, a bunch of clubs and everything, but I, I find that if I go home, like all, all our club meetings are after school, and I always feel like the day was unfulfilling if I, uh, if I go home straight after school. So have you guys found your service uh, to be fulfilling? Yeah, the service is fulfilling because like when I volunteer through my parish, like we would do things at Christmas and Easter, like at Christmas we made, um, Gift, gifts like wrap them for the poor families and at Easter we made baskets for the poor families and it just felt so good to help out the community because I'd never realized how many like um, poverty stricken people were in the community. Yeah, I'm involved in my youth group and at Christmas time this past year we dressed up as elves and we went up to the Robert Wood Johnson Cancer Institute and we handed out presents to the 
to the children at their party and it was just so fun to see the smiles on their faces and it really really made me feel good that I was doing that. Yeah, especially in my school, um, with me playing piano for masses and stuff or an art club, um, we try to decorate the school. I, I think that it's very, really, really good that the whole school gets to experience music and masses and, you know, get an experience to sing and in art club to, you know, not go around to school and see boring, pale, beige, you see bright, colorful colors. I love getting involved with community service because not only does it make yourself feel really good, but you're helping someone else and even seeing them smile is so meaningful and I love that. So. The spiritual writer Matthew Kelly tells us, you cannot become more like Jesus Christ and at the same time stay as you are. This means that part of developing in our spiritual life is getting out and doing something more, something different. Part of our faith life is getting off the couch and turning on our life. And what better way to do that than getting involved in your local parish community? Next, we asked the teens on the street whether or not they were active in their church. Let's take a look. Are you involved in your church? No. Not right now, but I'm looking into it. No. Nah, I used to attend sun, uh, Sunday school, but not anymore. Yeah, I used to do CCD and all that. Help out with the yard work on the funerals and all that. As a Jehovah's Witness, we knock on doors and we preach to people and minister to people. So that, that's volunteering. I don't really do anything else besides he, that. You just uh, auxiliary pioneered, which is you get 50 hours in a month. Are you involved in your church? I used to be, yeah. They used to have a, like a praise band and a bunch of kids would get together and like play music and sing like Jesus songs. Well, they had me sing it once, but I didn't like it, so I, I played drums for them. At my church, we actually have um, a St. John Society, and we like help the needy. Um, like during Christmas, we give like gifts and stuff, and then during Thanksgiving, we collect food and stuff. So we, we do a lot of community stuff. It seemed that a majority of the teens on the street had limited involvement in their local church or were more active when they were younger. According to the National Study of Youth and Religion, only 24% of all Catholic youth are currently involved in any religious youth group. But among those who attended, 90% reported that they greatly enjoyed participating in the group. So, how about you guys? Are you involved in your local church? In my church, um, I'm not really involved in that particular church, but in my school, go to a Catholic school, I try to help out as much as I can, you know, with masses and things like that. And I believe that's the way I, you know, channel things going through my school. My whole family is really involved, which has really helped me. Like my mom reads and she's a Eucharistic minister and my brother and sister are altar servers and my other brother sings in the choir. So, and I sing in the choir as well. And that's really, like my whole family being involved has really helped me get involved in my parish. My family is the same way. My parents taught confirmation class and I'm a greeter at my church and I'm involved in the youth group. And my sister sang in the choir. So a lot of families are like that. That's really good. Yeah, I used to um, sing in the choir and we did like little plays during Christmas time and Easter. And I also auto serve during the masses. Yeah, I, um, I helped out with CCD and we recently just did a summer program. So we did 30 hours over two weeks and I helped and I helped my mom out while she taught and I'm really involved in my youth group. We volunteer for a lot of like dinners and picnics and helping the poor. I'm on the executive board of my youth group and we usually have a meeting like once a month and we decide what events we're going to do and what charities we're going to donate the money we make from the events. So why do you think teenagers become less involved in church programs as they get older? Um, I think it's because as you get older you get more independent mm -hmm. and just from my experience as I grew up I've become more involved in my faith but as a child I didn't really enjoy church at all. I would just sit there and I would just fall asleep all the time but as you grow older there's a point where you need to decide whether you're really going to become involved with your, with your faith or you're just going to branch off and you're just going to say, you know, this isn't for me. And I think a lot of teens are just not very involved in their faith and they just they go off in a different direction. And that's sad because if you really get involved in your faith, it really helps you as a person. And it also gives you fulfillment in ways you can't get in anywhere else but your faith. I. I definitely agree with like what you're saying and everything where like at least in my experience it's been 
as kids, you know, you kind of accept what your parents tell you, you know, their faith and everything, and not just faith, like pretty much everything you have to, like, you accept like what they're telling you. And then uh, in your teenage years, kind of like as a process of getting out of the house and, you know, being ready to live on your own, you kind of question what they're throwing at you. So I guess during this period of time, there's a lot of people who don't really get involved in their church because they're questioning that. And, you know, they may come back to it later. They may come back to their faith, but it's just like that period of questioning when some people kind of just lose that faith, but then they come back to it and have it as their own, you know. Mm -hmm. so. And you know, when you get older, you get busy too. Like, I know I almost stopped singing in my church choir because I had other things to do. And like, I just started getting focused on how busy I was and my faith started dropping in my priority list, which wasn't good. And you know, that happens to a lot of teens. They just become indifferent when it comes to God. Let's go back to our spotlight guest, Stacy, who will share with us the importance of her church youth group as well as some of the profound experiences she's had through faith activities and group prayer. What I like most about my youth groups is showing, like, the youth pastors don't, like, act like they're 40. Like, they don't act old and, like, make us feel like little kids. They make us feel like we're the same age and we're all there to learn about God together. The most profound moment I've ever had in youth group was probably, um, there was this one time where Dan took this can, like, this cross, and he told us to write a prayer on it and there was this candle and like he put, I forget what it was called on it, I think oil and he lit the fire and the fire got really big and he was showing how God like um, grows in us and all the bad things that we wrote on the paper we threw in the fire and he said that how God forgives us for all our sins if we ask. Dan like takes like little things and shows us like how like a fire can be like God, it's always burning or like he, there was a hook meeting where he tied all strings to a hook and we all had a pull on them and um, it was showing how like God's the hook and we all pull from different directions but we're all pulling from the same God and how we believe in one God and we're all together like a tree with like different branches and the, and the big branch is God and we're the little ones. My favorite part of youth group has always been like being together and talking in a huge group like if Dan asks like a question of like um, why do you believe in Jesus like how you can see like everyone answer and like how we all like like relate and believe in the same thing and how it's so beautiful how we all have the same faith. Praying uh, together with others it's like it's more like powerful like you feel like wow these people believe what I believe and like it's so amazing like when you go to Six Flags with like the Catholic youth rallies or like the Christian youth rallies or anything like with God it's so like powerful how there's so many people that believe what you believe and it's like amazing like you get a feeling that you've never felt before like you can't even like explain it, you just like feel so like involved and like loved by God and the people around you. Yeah, I can definitely relate to her because, um, you know, I've had some profound experiences with youth group as well. Like this one time, I was going through like a kind of rough time, you know, it's one of those bad months. And um, we did this activity where everyone, you got, you took a piece of paper and taped it to your back and then everyone ran, went around writing nice things about each other, like on, on, on the, on the, uh, on the paper on your back, which it sounds corny, but it really like made me feel better because like I was like, oh, these people, oh, they're so nice, you know. So it was, it was like one of those things. So it was just, you know, it put it in perspective, you know, like that maybe there were these people who maybe didn't like me that much, but I had I had these people who you know appreciated me. So that was kind of like a good moment for me. I love when things happen like that at youth group because your friends are there and you can connect with them, and it just makes you so much closer. The Catechism of the Church tells us that all members are linked to one another, especially to those who are suffering, who are poor and persecuted. As a member of the Church, we do not live all alone. We are called through our membership to be active participants in the life of those around us, the people God has joined to our lives. Sometimes getting involved can seem scary. Walking into a youth group meeting full of people you don't know or haven't seen in a while can be somewhat intimidating. One way to do it is to find a friend to walk into that meeting with you for the first time. Chances are, you'll meet others just like you, friendly, athletic, talented, and generous. They are your peers who are looking for support to be better people and to make a difference in the world. Next, Stacy talks about her youth group as being a community of friends where no one is left out. And shares a time when prayer helped to heal the anxiety everyone felt when one of her peers was involved in a car accident. The youth group is a community because like we're all friends and we all can like talk about anything like like we're all always happy there like if you go there sad like everybody what's wrong what's wrong it's it's no one's ever left out it's just like a family and if someone's hurting like um, we had uh, 
Stations of the Cross and one of the girls got in a car accident the day of and like everybody was like torn down and like no, didn't want to do it and Dan, our youth pastor, came in and he was like, look, we have to do this because we have to do it for God, it's Good Friday, but we're going to do it for Leanna. And like everyone was upset but we did an awesome job because we did it for her and she's okay now. Going to Catholic Church, like you, you always go to church on Sundays with your family and you go to communion and reconciliation and confirmation and like usually kids are like yeah alright confirmation's over no more church for me but it shouldn't be because like you can go to youth group and learn like with other kids that want to learn and we don't sit there and like read and like it's not boring it's like learning in like fun more than book work like having a boyfriend or a girlfriend like in that part is much better than having one at school that doesn't believe because you can talk to them about your faith and like go to church with them and with, with youth groups and like going to church and like believing faith and like knowing faith and knowing that no one could change my faith. It's made me a stronger person because I know that like whatever troubles I've ever been in, like God has always been there with me. Like the story footprints, like how God walks with us and then he carries us in our hardest times. And like I think like when I get married and have kids, I want them to be the same way, like go to church on Sundays and be involved with youth groups and like love God and like learn in God. I actually have a similar story to Stacy's. My youth minister got in a car accident the day we had youth group and we were all praying for her and just being there to support her and it made her feel so much better that we were all there for her. Yeah, it's always good for someone to know when they're going through a tough time that, you know, you have them in, their, in your prayers. So can any of you guys share experiences like Stacy's where you found strength in serving God with your peers? Um, yeah, actually. Uh, in one of the retreats that um, we ran for the eighth graders in our school, our campus minister collected some of the students and together we shared our faith with each other and we connected. We connected, you know, as friends, as peers, and as people who were willing to share their faith with children who were transitioning from lower school to high school. So in that we became closer as friends, we became closer to God. And I think, you know, sharing your faith and doing things like that can bring people together. I think it's easier to connect with your faith when you're with your peers because you, you're with people that are your age and if you're not sure about getting involved with your faith and then you have all your friends getting involved, you know, that kind of helps you because you know that you're not alone with this and it makes you stronger. Yeah, I remember um, we had discussion night in our youth group and we had like a topic and we we were just all related to our faith and it was really cool because I didn't think anybody else really thought the way that I did about my faith, so it was enjoyable. In the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 25, the parable of the talents, Jesus speaks about using your gifts to serve others and not hoarding them away and letting them fall into disuse. Next, Stacy discusses how joining a youth group can reveal a deeper expression of faith and how she uses her talent of singing to serve her church congregation. Uh, with joining a youth group, uh, if you're not sure, you should definitely join, like even for one meeting or two if you don't like it, because being in youth groups is like joining a family and like being with a bond in God and growing your faith, and you'll really like it. Um, with, with God, God gives us all talents that we should use, and, and I sing 5 o'clock Mass for like three years now, and I love singing because like you show your faith and like when you're up there singing like everybody like knows how you feel and like you like like a lot of people can't show their faith in ways but when you sing like everyone sings with you. So what are some of the talents you've discovered and shared by getting involved? I dance and I've been dancing for like 14 years so I've used that to we go to nursing homes and we dance for the um, elderly at like, Christmas time just to bring a little like joy to their lives. Well, I enjoy um, public speaking, so you know I do all the shows, you know, especially dramas where you don't really have to sing that much, but it's all like public speaking and everything. I do like speech and debate and everything. Basically, anything where I can get in front of people and they're not going to yell at me for talking <laughs> to them for you know a period of time, that kind of thing. I guess you could say I use my acting skills. In my youth group, we put on a lot of skits, and I help with those, and it's a lot of fun. Yeah, I also dance, and I go to nursing homes during Christmas time and perform, and I do little shows for people, like musical shows sometimes. Yeah, yeah um, I do a lot of um, organization and sometimes leadership. 
uh, with my clubs if they have things of like they need the secretary or, or, or the clerk or the, you know, the clerical person. Or um, like when people have to be contacted, I'll be the one you know, calling people and saying, okay, we have a show tomorrow, I'll be here, you know, things like that. I'm like Stacy, I love to sing. I sing in my choir, I sing at school, I sing at the masses at school, because I think you can really hit people's emotions by singing. From being involved with my youth group and volunteering, I guess I can say that listening is my talent. Um, going to the, the kids' hospitals and talking with the elderly when we go to the nursing homes, I'm better able like, at listening and conversing now. When you have confidence to get involved, you can have a lot of fun. And when you have a lot of fun, as the saying goes, you can do amazing things. St. Paul reminds us in his letter to the Philippians, chapter 4, that we can do all things in him who gives me strength. What remains now is our choice. How are you getting involved in your church community or school? We'd like to know. Send your comments and questions to our website. The address is www.realfaithtv.com. Or you can call us at 609 406 7402. And we'll leave you today with this final thought. It's your choice to put down the remote, log off the computer, get out and get involved. Youth group, retreats, church ministries, and service are all things that make life richer and give our lives meaning. You may change the way you see yourself and have fun doing it. Who knows? You may even change the world. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Real, Real Faith, Faith TV. TV. God bless.